What do aliens, pirates, and penguins have in common? The Galapagos Islands. In 1535, the Galapagos Islands were officially discovered by the Bishop of Panama, Thomas de Berlanga. He was amazed by the giant tortoise and the inhospitable terrain. However, these islands weren't as vacant as they first appeared. Actually, many animals and plants call the Galapagos home. And some of these creatures look pretty strange. That's because many of them are endemic. Over 90% of the reptiles and land mammals on these islands are found nowhere else in the world. But the island's flora and fauna are being threatened by aliens. Alien species that were either accidentally or purposely brought to the islands, such as cats or blackberries. The number of introduced species to the Galapagos has increased since its discovery. Non-native species bring disease, which can affect animals like the flightless cormorant. They also compete for resources and eat the island's flora and fauna, like the marine iguana. It's a sad situation for the island residents. But there are things you can do when visiting other areas to stop the spread of species to places they don't belong. Don't travel with plants or animals. Clean all clothing before your trip and before you travel to another place. Check all of your things for seeds or bugs. You don't want to bring uninvited guests. While traveling, keep in mind a few fundamental questions. Are you eating from a sustainable source? Where does your trash go? How large is your carbon footprint? These are just a few of the things that you can do to help conserve the interesting heritage of places such as the Galapagos.